I'd like to welcome everyone to the 2019 BCBS meeting in Boston. I'm Jill Tardiff from the University of Arizona, Lauren Mauld from The Ohio State University, and Sakti Sariapan from the University of Cincinnati. We're very excited about this meeting this year. We have uh, broken all existing records for attendance with over 1,000 participants and 600 abstracts. We've made a real effort to build an expansive program that's integrative and um, really crosses the barriers between different aspects of cardiovascular research. The overall goal of the meeting is to emphasize the integrative nature of cardiovascular disease. And so we've broken down some silos and come up with some very um, intriguing and exciting uh, sessions that are um, headed in many cases by our more junior colleagues as we really try to build a more inclusive program for everyone to enjoy. Sardi, you want to talk a little bit about some of our special programs? Um, thank you, Jill. Um, we are very excited, as uh, Jill pointed out. Um, so this is the first time uh, we put so many new um, initiatives to the BCBS. Uh, for example, yesterday, um, Sunday, uh, we had half-day uh, ASEAN Cardiovascular Symposium. Um, in the past, always, uh, there was one symposium, like uh, the Acre, the Chinese section, um, but this is the first time we have ordered um, the Japanese, um, uh, Korean, and South Asian uh, group into the uh, whole day or half day program. Um, there were like 200 attendees, uh, four different sessions. Um, again, um, this is uh, an expansion of the past BCVS. Um, for example, today we have the early careers, we have additional sessions for them, we have nine speakers. We also have um, Women in Science a Breakfast. Um, we have three workshops, um, again, focusing on um, how to work with the NIH, uh, how to collaborate between clinicians and basic scientists, and then what are the new techniques that evolve today uh, to treat or to do research, basic research in cardiovascular um, sciences. Um, so we are very excited and we look forward to having this uh, four-day uh, BCBS in Boston. I would move to Lauren to talk about uh, the session programs and how we are doing it. Thanks so much, Sati. Um, it's an honor to be here with my colleagues, uh, Jill and Sati, as well as all of you. Um, it's, it's really exciting to have so many attendees here um, in Boston this year. As Sati said, uh, today we begin in the uh, morning with the early career um, sessions, which are or looking at the next big thing in cardiovascular research. Um, this afternoon, we, get, we begin with the regular sessions. Um, and what we really tried to do in organizing the program was to make sure that uh, the majority, and I think we're around 75 to 80 percent of new um, speakers and moderators. And so giving um, more people the chance to be at the front of the stage and experience um, that, uh, that role. And so this afternoon, we, we have sessions on mitochondria. We have sessions looking at um, crosstalk between cell types. And then tomorrow, as Sati said in the morning, the woman in science breakfast, uh, followed uh, by looking at um, New, new discoveries in myocardial metabolism, um, having an exciting session on diabetes and uh, diabetic cardiomyopathy, which we haven't seen presented for, for several years. Um, and then actually tomorrow afternoon, we're gonna have a session that uh, will focus on cardio-oncology, which we know is a very um, rapidly expanding field. And so that's gonna be really exciting. And then tomorrow afternoon as well is the early career social. So make sure that everyone comes to that. Um, Wednesday, we're gonna have multiple sessions looking at arrhythmias, uh, cardiac inflammasome, um, focused uh, this uh, in the afternoon on more genetic um, aspects of cardiovascular disease, and then tomorrow on uh, Wednesday, of course, is the BCVS Council dinner. So make sure that everyone's in attendance for that. And then wrapping up on Thursday, we'll have some also some exciting sessions on uh, aging, as well as uh, new techniques, as, as Sakti said, with machine learning and artificial intelligence. So it's really exciting to be here. Um, we look forward to 
seeing all of you and interacting with all of you and also for getting ideas for next year's meeting which we've already begun to plan right. um, in Chicago and so we hope that we will uh, continue to break records um, we have we have a goal next year that far surpasses the thousand of this year and uh, we really look forward to your ideas of, of sessions that you would like to be um, presented so thank you again for coming